Yo, what's good YouTube? It's Blake and today I'm back with another sneaker video. Today I'm going to be doing another, I wouldn't say review, but I'll get into more about it in just a moment. I don't know if there'll be a non-sneaker related photo on my YouTube yet by the time this goes up, but if so, check it out. It'll be like the, the post before this. Moments before starting this video, my very close friend of mine, Mike, at Pelly Kicks, I'll put the link down below on Instagram, brought over a pretty exclusive pair of shoes. He's a huge sneaker collector, autograph collector. I've been trying to get him to let me film his collection, but he just doesn't want to be on the tube yet. These are pretty limited. If you follow my Snapchat or you have me on Snapchat, sort of gave it away. They are signed by an NBA player named Blake Griffin. I believe these are the newest Superflies, not the newest color because they have been out for a while. On grand opening at Shoe Palace, a few days after the big release of their store, they had another big release for the Superfly. And Blake Griffin was there handing out pairs. My boy, Mike, was there at the right time, at the right place to get one of these. And Blake Griffin was there, so he did get them signed. These are, I would say, one of the grails in my collection now. These are like a general release, but I guess when you have that on it, I'll call it a grail. I do have another type of grail, as you'd say with these, from another player, but I'll save that for another time. Let's talk about this sneaker a little bit. I do not want to smear that nice autograph. One thing that really does stand out to me when I look at this sneaker is the back. We have a very shiny, very solid light plate on the back. The sole is pretty intense too. Great traction. I really, really, really like this red colorway a lot more than the green. I would have had both signed if I could. But if I had to pick between the two, I would pick these. We do have a small plate on the bottom of this sneaker that does say flight speed. One thing that I do not like about these sneakers and overall with Jordan Brand's basketball collection, like just for Jordan Brand, not Nike, but for Jordan Brand, they always have these same laces. And they're not flat laces, but they're almost like a mix between the circle, like the oval um, laces and the flat. And I just don't like them. Like they, they seem cheap, they're flimsy and they don't last as long as sturdy flat laces. But I am feeling this camo upper, it's sort of camo. It's a little transfluent. I am feeling these. I would play basketball in these. I think these are a very nice looking shoe. I have not seen anybody play in these in person or online, but I'm happy to have these in my collection. Blake Griffin is one of my favorite players. In my opinion, the best dunker in the league right now, but injured right now with his fist punch some guy I think it's cool to have different things in your collection like sign things just to like have a variety not just like all like hyped up sneakers which you guys do know I am a hype beast I, I am a hype beast hello let me know down below if you do agree that it is pretty dope to have autographed sneakers in your collection also check out my boys Instagram down below Mike it should be uh, Pelly kicks and Let's get these out of the way. Before I end this, I wanna say thank you to everyone who has subscribed to this channel. I have a goal of 10K and I am very, very firm and positive that we can reach it by the end of this month. I am going to start transitioning into things other than sneakers. Leave a like down below. All I'm gonna say is we out. So the third and fourth sneaker I've caught this month is the Oxford Tan 350 Boost. I do like these a lot. I like them so much. I had to double up. I'm not gonna show off too much of both pairs, but I just wanted to. Hello, hello? I mean, these are KDs, yeah. They have to be KDs. Yeah, cause you could like feel this. You just know they're KDs. Smell them. 